just go around the hospital doing a stretch with different areas, patients, staff, people in waiting rooms, anybody who needs a little release. So it's very simple stuff. You feel free to watch and, and ignore me or, or do it with me. I'd love it if you stretch with me. Um, so we're just going to start, if you'd like to join in, just going to start sitting up nice and tall. Again, first side. One of the things one of the things that I do is these simple like five minute stretches in the waiting rooms where I go into a waiting room I introduce myself and I you know I, I tell the, the patients there that we're gonna I'm gonna lead a, a simple five minute stretch and often um, you know there's looks of what is he talking about like I'm in a hospital like why am I why is he asking me to stretch and there's a little skepticism I think in their faces and then when we start you know, we start simply and then, you know, a couple people join in and as we go more people join in and, and often many people join in and at the end they're smiling, they're breathing deeper, they often they'll clap at the end and it's like it's just really changed the whole feeling of the room from one of where everyone's in their own little box. Of course they're feeling anxiety because of why they're here and stuff like that. But having a moment to like step out of that world into into breathing, into simple moving, really I think softens the room and and is a, a relief, a moment of recuperation for everyone from um, the stress that they may be feeling of their day. And that's always a, a a great moment to feel that shift in the room when people kind of like relax a little bit. Um, so what I do is I do stretching in waiting rooms with. Patients, loved ones, anybody that's waiting um, tends to be probably a pretty stressful place and they probably sit there for a long time and I think just doing a little uh, breathing and relaxation and just taking their mind off of uh, whatever else is going on is really helpful. It's very healing and beneficial. And um, I love to go around and do sessions with staff, try to round everybody up and get everybody excited to just stand up and breathe and stretch and again take their mind off of what they're doing so that when they go back they have a, a just a refreshed focus and, um, and I love the dance class up here. We do a 30 minute dance class, it's very simple, anybody can join, it's fun, um, just kind of get your heart pumping and uh, just again it kind of just infuses the culture of dance um, in hospital setting, which is totally different than, than usually where you see dance, and I think this is a revolutionary program, and I'm really excited to be here as a part of it, and um, yeah, I'm interested to see where it goes.
grateful. Um, I think mostly just that, you know, I'm not another person in a white coat. And, um, and I'm also not a social worker who's just trying, you know, to make them feel better. It's really about art and movement. And um, I, I do feel like even if all I get to do is visit with them, I can tell that they're very grateful. You know, if they seem cantankerous, then I just leave because they, for whatever reason, don't need me that day. <laughs> um, and then the other thing is working with the nurses. I feel like you can always, you can always do something special for any patient by making their caretaker feel a little better or a little lighter or you know not think about whoever just yelled at them for a few minutes it gives them again just movement gives you a little space um, you know to reclaim yourself and your motives and your um, confidence and uh, that goes a long way I think in a hospital setting one of the most touching units, or the units that is always so inspiring to go to, is the pediatrics department here in Lombardy, the cancer, the, it's the outpatient um, pediatrics for kids who have cancer. And um, I do, I go in and I do like this five to seven minute stretch break, and where we do it there is the staff all comes into the waiting area. They have a nice big waiting area where the kids have activities and, and toys and art projects they can do while they're there. And so it's a very active space. And um, Jan, the manager over there, encourages everybody to join in. So when we do the stretches there, it's often a good part of the staff, some parents, and then sometimes some of the kids join in. And it's really when those kids join in, that's just amazing. Uh, there's one little boy, I think he's a little smaller, I think he's a little older than than he looks, but he will, he gets in, he does like every stretch, every time, and he does it so well, and he's, he's, um, his, he just smiles like the whole time he's doing it. You, you can tell he just thoroughly enjoys it, you know? And um, I think that is such a great unit to be involved with, um, because these kids are going through such a tough time, and yet they're such kids, and they're still kids. And they're still, they've still got so much joy. I feel like what I'm doing is giving people an opportunity to be in their body, to move their body in a way that is healing and, and, and joyous maybe, um, in a place where often they feel at odds with their body because often they're sick or they're injured or somehow their body their 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 body is not healthy in some way and by taking 5 to 7 minutes is is giving them a relationship to their body that is healthy and hopefully nurturing and um hopefully reminds them, maybe not right then, maybe it's the second or third or fifth time or tenth time that they happen to see me that reminds them that their body is something that is joyous, that is healthy. But the truth is that movement is so much home for so many of our bodies that it's just a, it's a good place to go and, um, and just to move us out of our heads and give us a little bit uh, more space to be kind to ourselves. One especially memorable moment at Lombardi is I was stretching with a, or I was going around to different rooms of patients and asking if anyone wanted to stretch. And um, one room that I went into, it wasn't just the patient was in there; it was the entire family. I think there was, you know, a son, sister, grandmother, probably a friend, maybe five other people. And so I came in to see if anyone wanted to stretch. <clears throat> and it was um, more the family members that wanted to. And just one person was like, oh, that sounds kind of cool. So I was like, okay, like I'll put on some music, I'll start stretching, anyone can join if, in if they want to. So, you know, one person started stretching, then another person was like, oh, that looks kind of cool. And they, I mean, I'm assuming that's what they thought in their mind. <laughs> and they started stretching with me, and <clears throat> then even the son, who at the beginning was like, There's, no, I'm, I'm really fine. He started, he started kind of, 
you know, watching and going along with it. So it's just really cool to get everyone involved.